Let's carry on now with making some more patterns in Substance Painter that you may find useful uh, in Blender or some other 3D software. I've just got this simple plane here, that's all it is. And uh, we're going to make our first pattern now. It's actually available in the procedural folder over here, something extremely similar, but we're going to actually make it from scratch. All right, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to drag a material in a metal like material. You could use anything that you want for this. I'm just going to drag that in and do this. All right, so we're going to be making use of the tile generator. So I'm going to create a fill. And in the fill, we're going to use some height. And so for this one, I'm going to actually drag the height. I'll drag it all the way up to the top. And I'll leave the other things uh, for the time being. Okay, I'm going to add a black mask and a fill. And in the properties, grayscale here, I'm going to add the tile generator. And this is what we start to get. So I'm going to be referring to some values that I've got here just so that I'm not tinkering around all day long. So we've got our tile generator here. And the first thing we have here, these parameters, the position I'm going to set at about 0 0.65. And the contrast I'm going to set at about 0 0.85. And so that's what you're going to see so far. Now we're going to scroll down to the pattern type. And the pattern type I'm going to choose is pyramid. It doesn't really look much like a pyramid at that point. I'm going to open up this pattern here. And I'm going to switch this to 45. And now we're getting this pattern. And so far you probably don't recognize what I'm going to create. Uh, but you will soon. We're going to take the scale and we're going to bring that down to about 0.8. And now we have these um, sort of rotated squares. So you could probably imagine that we could have achieved this another way by loading in a square and rotating that by 45. So that, that would have worked as well. So there's different ways to achieve the same thing. Uh, for the scale for the size X, I'm going to choose 0 0.34. Let's try that, 0 0.34. And now you're starting to see the pattern that we're going to be using. The size, I'm going to go with one and put the tiling up at three just to get a bunch more. All right, so we're going to be making this metal grate kind of thing that you would typically see in many sci-fi images. So what we need is another one now at a different angle. So that's it for the first tile generator here. Uh, what I may do is actually turn off the color so that we get the metal color sort of showing through. So we've got that. There is, however, one more thing that we could add above this tile generator just before we move on. And that is to add a filter blur. And that gives it almost a beveled look. You could lower this a little bit if you want, but I'm just going to leave the default values. So that's done. Now I'm going to take this layer and I'm going to duplicate it above and I'm going to come into the tile generator that's the only thing that I'm going to need to change and in here I'm going to make a couple of changes to the offset I'm going to change this to 0 0.25 so we have them like this and this one I'm going to put 0 0.15 and now they look like they're sort of in a straight but diagonal line then I'm going to scroll down to the pattern and the rotation. I'm going to hold down shift. There's zero. One more down, 315. And this is the pattern that I wanted to create. All right, so we've created a pattern that's available in the procedurals, but we created it from scratch. And you could then go on and make any changes that you want to to this. Uh, instead of using the procedural one, you could tweak the values. All right, so there's our first pattern. Very, very common. This is just a single plane. And I tell you, years ago in Blender, I would have tried to come up with a way to make this out of geometry and arraying it or instancing, and it would have been a huge mess. But there it is.
We're going to do our second pattern now, and this one was inspired by the video game Doom 3 and this floor here. So I want to try to recreate this square and have this, this uh, detail on here. All right, so we'll just have a look at that. Um, on my plane here, I've got just two materials. I've got a metal grain out and a metal grain in. So this region is just a separate material compared to the outer part. Okay, and the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to drag in, I'll use the same material that I did before. So I'm gonna put that on both of these, just like that. The metal grate out is, that, that's all I need to do, unless there's more stuff you wanna do. I'm gonna be doing the work on the middle part here. This is where that detail is gonna be. So the outer part is, represents the border part thing here. And then I wanna have these four rows of stuff. All right, so that it looks like an actual, I don't know, floor plates of some sort. Okay, so we're going to do a similar thing that we generally do. I'm going to add a fill. And in the color, I think I'm going to use a black color. And the height, let's drop the height all the way down. And let's put the roughness all the way up. Because I want this to represent sort of like a hole where you look through and it's just a hole. Now we can do this with opacity, but I thought I would do it in black. And I, I, I'll just leave everything else the way it is. Okay, I'm gonna add a black mask, a fill, and the tile generator. Now you'll start to see, we have that outer part here that's caused by this, and this inner part has the design on it. All right, so let's go ahead and start throwing in some values for this. Um, this starts with the, the uh, standard brick in the pattern type. So I'm gonna come up here to the scale here, and I'm gonna add four. My daughter is snoring in the background. She was scared, so she's sleeping down here. So if you hear some snoring, it's, it's, it's not me, and hopefully it's not you. Now that's actually a neat pattern right there. If you are interested in that, but we're not we're not gonna stop there, we're gonna keep going. So I'm gonna come down to the position and I'm going to uh, I'm gonna make that one. And the contrast I'm gonna make about 0 0.9. So you can't really tell what's going on here yet. That's okay. We're going to change this from brick, we're gonna change it to square. And now it looks like you can't see anything yet. That's why, because we've got to go to the pattern because the scale is one. It's it's filling up the whole area. Uh, I'm going to make the scale, let's try 0.94. That stuff starts to come back. And the size in the X, I'm going to do it the same. I'll do 0.94. And the scale in the Y is going to be 0.8. Okay, so that stuff looks like it's come back again. Relatively neat pattern so far. And let's set the tiling at two, so it's gonna be a little bit busier now. And then we come down to the pattern transformation. And now we need the number in X, I'm going to put five. And the number in Y, so those were, these are just the default numbers. I'm gonna put one, so we're starting to get somewhere. We'll come down to the scale, set that at two. Something that I need to do over here as well is to change the angle. I'm gonna change the angle to 270, and now I have basically what I wanted. All right, I've got the outer border here, I've got one, two, three smaller vertical lines. And I've got, I guess it is probably 15 lines or 15 holes in there to do that. Now I don't think that the blur filter will do very much in this case. We can try it and see if it'll add a little touch. Does it really? And let's just have a look at, um, 
if you want you know you could uh, array those or instance those as your flooring you can put dirt and, and other stuff on there we'll have a quick look at uh, making this with some transparency so we see through these holes in case you wanted to cover up a lower area and have pipes also instead of using a flat plane you could extrude this down a little bit on the sides and then bevel the edge a little bit even you could even lower this central piece there a little bit and bevel this edge just to make it look a little bit nicer you know a little bit rounder on the edges if you if you wanted to do that but one more thing if we wanted to add opacity to this on this layer here or this texture set i'm going to come to the materials here the shader i'm going to switch this to alpha blend all right i'm going to have to add an opacity channel in here because i don't have one so i'll add opacity and now i'll come over here and enable opacity and we'll drop it down and now we can see through those holes to the background and to prove it just bring up the opacity of the environment and we could see through that so if you wanted to put something underneath it like pipes or wires or something like that or water or lava you could do that um, when you export this into Blender, you would have to have opacity as one of your maps, one of your texture images, and you would connect that in Blender. I've done a number of projects where I've had some opacity from Substance Painter. If you do go that route and you have any trouble and you're not sure how to set it up, let me know and I can make another video on that or show you uh, a video on that. But uh, if I just bring this back up, that's the effect that I that I had before. All right, so that's two more patterns in Substance Painter. I do have some more to show you, so I hope you'll tune in for those. Thanks for watching.